So hi everyone, I'm here using Excel. It's on the Mac, it doesn't matter whether it's on the Mac or the Windows version for this one. This works the same way. And I've got just a little bit of data in here and you can see I've got something in a column and in the column next to it I've got nothing in here, no data yet. And you can see I've got say PowerPoint training and it's going over into the next cell. And actually it does as well for Excel and Word, just not as much. So if I was to type something into this cell, it's just chopping it off here. So what I could do, and you probably know this, I can just go to the top here, column A, click on it, go to the right of it. In fact, I didn't even need to click on it. I can just click and drag that over to make it fit. And let's just go a little bit more. Now I could right click on here if you're using a Mac and you haven't set up the right click you just right click or control click here and you'll see you've got column width and I could go there and you can see it's got this column width number here and I could type in say 20 and it would change it to be bigger I could have made it smaller as well okay let's just move that back it was somewhere around about here but there's an easier way to do this and what it is is if I click here I can now well I don't need to click there let's just click off of that really simple all I need to do is go between the A and the B so it's to the right of the column that I want to change I can auto fit it and if I double click look at that it automatically makes it the right width now it's actually making it the right width for this top one here training report for 2023 but I don't mind Got the same here for this follow-up courses I could just double click and it does it so the way to do this is I'm on my home tab here I go over to here where it says format now you may see cells written down here to indicate which section it's in I click there and you can see it's got auto fit column width it's also got column width here as well just like you saw before and I can change that and it's also got default width so if you click on that and click on OK, that's what the default width is when you open up a new spreadsheet. But I have to say, it's much easier to just double click at the top there. And by the way, the same thing applies to rows as well. If I was to make this too small, if I was to double click there and also go into the menu as well on the tab here, you would see it's also got auto fit row height. So it works for that too. So the other day I saw someone doing this and going through and double clicking on each column like this and that's so and they had a lot more columns so I'm just going to undo each one of those in fact I'm going to go back to here so if I want to do a whole load of them I can just highlight the ones I want double click on any one of these in between like say B and C and it does it for all of them well that's great but maybe the days didn't need to be maybe that's too narrow now so let me just undo that so what do I do I just want this column and this column so if you're using a PC you would use control on a Mac you're going to use command click on the first one hold down command or control click on the other one you want and then double click and it has just changed those two nice and simple and again you could have just gone over to here in format and done it from there but that double clicking is so useful so if you've got a whole load of them just highlight them if you've got all the way down you've got to scroll a lot you can click on the first one hold down the shift key go all the way that you need to and then while still holding the shift key down click on it and hey presto you've got all of those selected so just a neat trick there for just selecting anyway so that is how you can easily change the column widths automatically on your spreadsheet. If you do like this, please do like, share and subscribe and come back for more.